Good morning. Grace and peace be unto you in the name of Christ. Welcome. We are here in the Miss Megan 2, and this is courtesy of Captain Sean Tibbetts and MainTunaFishing.com. All right, some of God's word for you from Colossians chapter 3 about the new life in Christ. So, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden in Christ, in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death. Therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life, but now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourself with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is in all and is all. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, for, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you so you must also forgive and above all above all clothe yourselves with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony and let the peace of christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you are called in one body and be thankful let the word of christ dwell in you richly and teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God and whatever you do in word or deed do everything in the name of Lord Jesus giving thanks to God the Father through him you have been raised in Christ so set your mind on heavenly things you've received Christ through your baptism through no work of your own, through God's grace, Christ has come into your heart. And this place of being in the flow, of being with Christ, of walking with Christ, is a gift of God. It's a gift of grace. And when you're in this new place, you're given new eyes to see. You're given a new perspective. So where there was nothing but despair, you can see hope. Where there was death, you can see life. And being in new life with Christ means that there is death. You're coming into flow with Christ, and one of the beautiful perspectives is God will hold up a mirror to you, and you'll get a glimpse. You'll see who you were created to be in your fullness. And it can be overwhelming because God will call you to be a better person. And God does this over and over and over again in your life. There'll be that new position that God calls you to. And you can't be your old self in that new position. There'll be a new relationship that you're called to or a new point in your relationship that you're called to. And you can't be who you were once you get a glimpse of who you see God has called you to be 
and it's always you it's not a different person it's you but with God's love you you can step up into that that becoming a better person that God is calling you to be a wonderful example is just Moses right you have Moses who has this incredible vision of the burning bush and Moses had to change who he was to be a leader of the people to bring them out of slavery through 40 years of wilderness it didn't happen all at once and when God tapped Moses Moses of all people Moses with a speech impediment Moses who had just murdered an Egyptian he wasn't ready. He had to grow into the fullness of who God had called him to be. And that's who we are in the mystery of Christ. You'll get a glimpse of who God calls you to be in this new place, in this new time. And you don't have the skills. You don't have the words for it. There are pieces of you that must die in order to become fully alive. And we try so hard to bring to life so often that which God is trying to put to death. We'll go back to those patterns that are death for ourselves. We'll go back to those rituals. We'll go back to those words and we'll fall back into patterns of anger, wrath, malice, pridefulness. So you have to set your mind on things above when you get that, that vision of who you need to be. And those are the times when you can set your mind on things above and take and put on those clothes that you put on those clothes of meekness, of humility. Because whenever we're in a new circumstance, you can't be all proud and pretend you know what's going on. You have to put on those clothes of Christ to put you in that vulnerable place so that you can learn, so that you can become that person that God gave you a glimpse of who you're meant to be. This is Paul encouraging the Colossians. This is who they are meant to be in Christ. And there's a unity in it. You never become greater for the sake of yourself. You become greater for the sake of others. And we're, we're all one. We're all connected. You become greater so you can glorify God. Now you don't have to be perfect to glorify God. Thank God for that. God will move through you regardless of what your state of living is, right? Because God used Moses, the murderer, to lead his people. God used plenty all through the Bible. God used hookers. God used adulterers. God used a donkey. God can use you. But to become into that person that God's calling you to be, to get in that flow, to be able to receive Christ and let those parts of you die that have no business in this new life, to follow God's path, God's music, it fills your life with a joy, a lightness, right? Jesus said, I come so that you may have life and have it in abundance. You can fight God all along the way. God will use you whether you want to be used or not for God's purposes. That's how God works. But wow, it's a rush to get in on where God's calling you to be and be in the flow and be in the rhythm. But a beautiful friend, beautiful friend who was walking through hospice with her husband, who was so resistant and fearful of having her husband die in her home but she's also very faithful and very humble and in her prayers she found that in her fears that God sent angels that God sent help and when all is said and done she said I can't believe I was afraid at all it was the most beautiful experience to have her husband in her home to have that love surround him and lift her. That's what I'm talking about. God will call you into new places to be a new person and to trust where God's leading you, that God will be with you. Would you join with me in holding these people in prayer, beautiful loved ones,
who have reached out. Prayers are requested for Tiffany Jones and the family as Tiffany begins her cancer treatments this week and continues to share her message of hope. And pray for Lindsay and her journey and Bella and her journey with cancer for God's strength and guidance, wisdom and courage. Pray for church communities who continue to transition into the next phase of being church in the midst of a pandemic. Pray for their pastors and church leadership. Pray for Beth and Jeffrey Savage. Pray for Carol who just received an imminent terminal diagnosis. Pray for Rick for whatever will make him whole. Pray for Cindy and Shelley. Most holy and gracious God, we praise you that you've come into our hearts and given us a glimpse of the person we are to become new. Help us to let die those pieces of ourselves that have no business in this path, this future that you've carved out for us. God, help us to put on those clothes of humility and patience, meekness, so that we can be vulnerable in these new places so that we can be open to the ways that you would lead us we pray for all those who we've named out loud this morning who need your grace your healing strength and power to lift them and we pray for all those within the silence of our hearts Again, Lord, we praise you for the wonder of this day, the gift, Lord, of a sun rising, the chance to start over. And we praise you for the wonder <laughs> that we can start all things new in this great mystery. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Go forth with great joy for the new person you are. Amen. <laughs>